In this video, I'm going to walk you through the whole process of getting a custom domain set up on ConvertTree. At the end of it, here's what we're going to have. We're going to have our domain, cvtexample.com, set up on ConvertTree. We're going to be able to publish our pages at this custom domain direct from the app. And we're going to have it set up so that it doesn't matter whether or not someone uses www in the address bar, they are always going to go to the right page. So first of all, you can see I've registered my domain in GoDaddy, uh, cvtexample.com, um, here it is. So let's go set that up in ConvertTree. Starting from the dashboard, we go to Account in the top menu, and then Domains on the left. Here you'll see a list of all the domains you've got set up on ConvertTree. There's a couple of different methods of adding a domain, um, you want the one on the right. Use ConvertTree with a new domain. So we'll go to that and click Add. Now enter your domain in the box here. So in this case, cvtexample.com. And when you've done that, hit Add. ConvertTree will now give you a list of four name servers, and we need them all added where we've registered the domain. In this case, GoDaddy. So we're going to go back to GoDaddy and click the DNS button in the domain record. And we want the box that says name servers. So with a new domain, you're going to be using the default name servers. Uh, we want to change these, so we'll hit the change button and then swap the name server type from default to custom. Then we'll go back to ConvertTree, copy the first name server, and you can do that just by clicking on it and um, you can see the green copy message below and then we'll add it in the first name server box. Then we'll do the same thing for all the rest. So GoDaddy only give you two name server boxes by default, but we do need to add all four. So hit the add name server button to add new spots in the list. And when all four are in, hit save. So if we go back to ConvertTree, we'll see first of all that you automatically have this www record. Now that I'll come back to in a minute, but the important thing right now is this little warning symbol next to the records heading. Now this is because at the moment ConvertTree can't detect the DNS records. There's there's nothing wrong with the setup. Okay, it's just that basically DNS is an internet-wide system, and any changes to it, like we've just done, they're going to take a while to take effect. Everything will normally propagate in two to three hours, but it can take as many as 24. So like, do make sure this is something that you do well in advance of when you're going to need your pages live. When everything's filtered through, this warning symbol will change to a green tick. If it's been 24 hours and you're still seeing it, then contact your domain registrar. In this case, it'd be GoDaddy. Like, You need to talk to whoever you registered your domain with. So, I mean, obviously we're not just going to sit here for an hour while we wait, um, so I'll bring you back when everything's filtered through and we're good to go. Okay, so here we are. Um, took pretty much bang on two hours for me, but we've got that green tick, and we can see here the domain is successfully connected to the ConvertTree name servers. So what we're going to do now is enable SSL. Um, nothing complicated here, we'll just go back to the domains listing, and then we'll click the enable SSL button. Like you don't need Cloudflare, nothing like that, it's just done. And if we go into more and then redirects, you can see that ConvertTree has set the domain to force SSL automatically. And what that means is it doesn't matter if someone puts in HTTPS or not when they're looking for your site, they'll always go to the secure version. And so the final thing is to make sure that it doesn't matter whether someone types in www.cvtexample.com or just cvtexample.com, and the way you do that is to have a redirect. And in fact, you don't actually need to do anything at all with this because ConvertTree sets it all up automatically. Now, you might remember the www listing that was automatically generated on the record screen. Now, this is making that happen, so we've automatically got the domain record. If we go back to the domain screen, you can see we've automatically got the www.cvtexample.com site entry, and it's automatically redirecting. All of this is done for you. So now we can just publish our pages on cvtexample.com and whether someone uses www or not, they'll go to the right place. So let me just show you this in action. So we'll just go back to our campaigns and we'll make a new funnel. Now I'm going to grab a funnel template. I'm going to go for the adventure set. It's probably my favorite of the lot. And then you can see we've now got cvtexample.com in this list. 
so we'll add that there. And now we'll just dive in here and publish this one straight on cvtexample.com. So the page is live, loaded like an absolute beast because that's what we do. And I'll just pull this down a bit so you can see the address bar. So you can see this page is on cvtexample.com. But if we enter www.cvtexample.com, we still go to the same place. So, you know, that's it. You know, dealing, dealing with domain stuff is confusing and there will be a bit of waiting around while the DNS updates. But getting something like this set up is, it's actually a lot easier than it first appears. Follow along this video and you will do just fine. Thanks for watching.